Greetings, bike guys. We're out on uh, Thanksgiving weekend getting a little ride on the TM. I'm going to talk today a little bit about the differences between two stroke and four stroke. Alright guys, we got out on the trail on Thanksgiving weekend. It's uh, cold where we're at and uh, we had a little snow um, a couple weeks ago so it put some moisture into the ground. Although it didn't do much for the rocks. The rocks are still there. In fact, I think they've grown some since the last time we were down here riding. But you'll see as we go along, it's still got a few dry spots. That's the nature of this area. I and mean, when you're riding on ridges and that, the moisture doesn't seem to stay long. The wind dries things out pretty quickly. But we got out on the, uh, I'm riding the uh, TM EN300, two stroke. Um, and then Chris is riding a new SWM RS500. And our friend Matt is riding an RMX Suzuki. I think it's like a like a 96 or something like that. Older bike, but it's a very capable bike. I, if Suzuki still made those bikes, they'd be doing a lot better in the market because that's a nice bike too. It's designed for enduro work. It's not the uh, motocross version, but the RMX, which was designed for enduros. But I wanted to talk a little bit today about riding four strokes and riding two strokes and how that has changed over the last decade or so. Now, a decade ago, I was riding um, primarily four strokes. I had a, a bunch of them. I don't know how many, maybe 20 or so the different sizes. Most of them were 450s. Uh, I even had a 501 KTM. Um, and I love those big bikes, but I didn't realize how much effort and work it was taking to ride this rocky and tight terrain like we ride on that big four stroke. And then a few years ago, I purchased a, a Beta 250 two stroke, the race edition, the uh, factory edition model. And I gained a whole new respect and uh, appreciation for the two strokes. Um, and then after riding that for a couple of years, I ended up on the TMs, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. And I'm finding that all these uh, modern enduro type two strokes are so different. Um, a decade ago when I was riding two strokes and that, they were pipey and hard to ride and it was nice to have the light weight and everything like that, but it seemed like they were light switches on the throttle. You either had too much power or not enough. And now these modern, particularly the 300s, have got so much um, torque and they um, have a nice linear power to them. And it makes it really easy to, uh, to stay up right where you need to be. So you're not spinning the tires. You can control going up these hills or riding over these rocks and things like that very well. And, uh, you know, the difference of the, what they've done with these things, with the new styles of power valves and everything like that, they've got these motors where they just have such a nice, smooth power band. But if you want to go fast, like if you're out in the desert or something where you need the horsepower, that thing will open right up and boy, they'll really fly. This uh, TMs have an electronic power valve and that really controls the way the power comes on really well. And then if you got it all jetted in properly or have the fuel injected version, TMs comes either way. This bike I'm riding has a, a carburetor on it, but I've done some uh, jetting on it and got it just spot on for our elevation and our type of riding. And uh, I'm just really thrilled with how well these uh, new two strokes run. And I do enjoy the four strokes still. There's that RMX we were talking about. And Matt has spent some time dialing that bike in and getting it to work really well. It's got electron carburetor and other things on it to, uh, to make it run like a more modern bike, but that's a surprisingly capable bike. 
In fact, last year we, we did a team race, off-road race, and we rode the RMX just because it was the best bike for the day. And uh, I was really impressed after racing it all day long. So we're up here um, climbing up. We're going to get up on the top of these mountain ranges up here, and then we'll get into some tighter stuff. There's still a little snow on some of the trails. You'll see that in a minute. But what I like about the way the power comes on on these, these modern two-strokes is it's so controllable. It's almost, uh, dare I say it, it's almost like electric. <laughs> We have a lot of electric bikes coming up, I guess. We're, I wrote, recently rode a uh, electric motion, or EM, Escape, and it's an electric bike. It's um, designed after a trials bike, but it had a seat on it and stuff. That was a really impressive bike. I can't wait to get one out here and ride it and see how it goes. Um, but that, going back to the two-stroke, um, when you have the things carbureted correctly, they run smoothly and they'll just pull along without spinning the tire. You can stay on your line really well, but you always have that burst of power when you need it. If you come through a G out or a big ditch or something like that, you have the, all the power that you can uh, hang, hang on to, that's for sure. But I've found that the uh, this, this modern two-stroke has really made it easy for me to get around and ride through this gnarly stuff that we were riding that particular day. And it almost makes it like a cheater bike to me because um, I don't have to hang on to it near as hard as I did my 450s and those big four-strokes. And while they'll still look down pretty good, they just seem like they're a lot more work to ride. And here I just feel like I'm just gliding along and just letting the motor, just letting the motor do the work, let the suspension take up the bumps and stuff, and I just to go get to go along for the ride. So I'm thoroughly enjoying it, and I would recommend if you haven't had a chance to get out on a one of these modern two strokes, a Beta, a Sherco, a TM, um, or KTM, Husqvarna. They're they're all making good two strokes now. And there's differences between them for sure. Um, some are more suited to others and that sort of thing, but uh, we've had a really good time getting out and seeing what the uh, countryside looks like. We're riding, it's about 45 to 50 degrees here, so it's, it was pretty cool when you got into the shadows and that it was some of the places were a little slippery. Um, being frozen ground and that sort of thing. But if, if you're listening, you can hear that motor, it's just keeping good traction and uh, rolling along. And I just uh, really do encourage you, if you haven't had a chance to ride a modern two-stroke, you really ought to give it another go. And I'm going to sign off here and let you watch the rest of this video. And we look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. And give us a like on the like button and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Over and out.